What's going on LGU? I'm the FPS Jerry here and this is some old gameplay really. It's a domination on Afghan. I'm using the Org H bar here with the grip. Secondary is the Stinger, I believe. Yeah, it's a Stinger because this is my short shooting down class at the time. This is actually quite an old gameplay of mine here. It's been sitting on my hard drive for a few months at least because for one I'm playing Ground War. And I'll tangent on my kill. Oh well, no, not tangent, but segue on my kill streaks here by saying that I'm actually using Topper Gunner as well, which I rarely use now because I rarely play ground or really. It's quite effective in ground war if it doesn't get shot down. But as you see, it doesn't really get shot down in this. So this is a few months ago. I'm going to say three or four because I was playing with different people as well. It's quite unusual. So interesting. I haven't used it yet. I mean probably because the score wasn't that great. The gameplay started off pretty well and then it slows down towards the end. But for your delight, I've sped up some bits so you don't have to enjoy me uh, sort of laying around. Nice trouble here. And what I'm going to basically talk about is sort of using LMGs. I mean, here we've, we've got the game set up. We've got the two flags. We've got the AB split to um, for C. So we've got them spawn locked at C, which is probably the best one, especially for air support because they're just right in the open. And basically what you want to do with the LMG is play defensive really and some of you may say camp. Uh, I may say that as well but because this was a bit of a campish gameplay. But when I want when you want to rack up your kill streaks, especially when you've got them spawn trapped, I mean the LMGs I'm sure um some other people will agree me with this if they know what they're talking about, but the LMGs are not designed for rushing. Whatever you say, it's quite hard to rush with an LMG. And unless it's maybe the L eighty six which has the high rate of fire. But apart from the L eighty six the rest of them, well, the MG4 and that, but they're just terrible. Um, and the M240, I don't really like them. I prefer the RPD L86 and the Org H bar. They're the more powerful ones. I sometimes use them, but it, it, this time, like I said, it was an old gameplay, and I was quite into the Org, and I used it quite a bit. I just enjoyed it. I found it quite accurate, especially for an LMG. And, of course, it provided a lot of power and decent rate of fire. So just all of that combined with a good iron sights as well I just thought it was a great weapon but the tips for when you're shooting at long range because especially on a map like Afghan where like I said you're gonna play defensively and sit more back and you're not gonna run especially on ground where you're not gonna run in there where chances are you're gonna get killed because as you'll see later in this game I tried to run up nearer to the spawn because not much is going on and I face the consequences and I'll point that out in a bit to you guys and so it's like I was saying ground where you don't wanna rush in so it's best to sit back, try and pick people off because especially with a gun like this in accuracy, you want to pop fire it or burst fire. Pop fire and basically, you know, shooting a bullet at a time, tapping the trigger as if it's a, like I'm doing here, basically burst and pop firing, which is like tapping the trigger like it's a foul and, you know, just in quick bursts because that's the best way to fire it. Medium to short range, just full auto this gun because it can take it. But like I said, long range from this bunker to the uh, cliff side there, it's probably best to... Uh, pop fire it or burst fire it which is what I've been doing a lot of snipers like going on there and this is a good counteract to just basically uh, burst fire onto that cliff and here I move on to try and catch some spawn there but like I said you know they're pretty much spawn locked the whole of my team has air support right now there's an AC-130 out there's a Harrier out I don't think the other team even, even gets air support so I don't even need to use my stingers which is a bit of a waste but like I said I've basically pos positioned myself around B and for a lot of the game really I mean it was was a bit campish like I said but I was using the LMG and I wanted to get a good game and unfortunately the game does slow down and I die quite a few times like I said and here that it's a pretty long host migration so from this bit onwards I speed it up till that point where that I mentioned where I get killed when I'm trying to rush towards C so ground war is not the best idea and this was a couple of months ago where there wasn't as, as much bullshit as going on now because I didn't get that much danger close noob dupes going on in this game, although, like I said, I do get killed pretty unfairly when I move around here in a minute. And so here I am moving around. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till I point it out because I'm moving around here. So I decide to move up sort of flank C, and just coming up here is the moment where I get killed. So you think, oh no, there's not many people there. I saw a red dot on the cliff side. I was gonna flank the snipers. Oh, what's that? sitting there he didn't have danger close so I, I give him that but he was sitting there for I don't know how long with his RPG none of my teammates were going up there so he had no reason to sit there that is camping you know where there's no traffic the, I was the only person who ran on that side of the map for half the game as you can see all my teams over the A slash B side of the map and no one's really going up to C 
probably because they've been RPG'd by that guy. So that's basically that. I mean, I'm I'm sort of done on the gameplay here. You sort of understand the role. I hope you've sort of taken what I mean by the role of the LMG, which I I think is a more defensive support role. LMGs are known as support weapons. Uh, you sit back, you know. Uh, as the L86 is called, the L86 is the L86 LSW, which stands for Light Support Weapon. So it's meant to be used to sit back and suppress, really, and keep fire down in real life. But, of course, in this game, you can just sit back and pick people off. Uh, so, like I said, I'm sort of done with the gameplay here. And for the last few minutes, I've decided to go on a bit of a tangent. And I'm going to talk a bit about gaming histories, really. You can leave comments on what your sort of gaming history was. But I'm only, you know, 15 so, slash 16 coming up a uh, few months time. And for me, it really started when Call of Duty 4 came out. Before Call of Duty 4, when I got my Xbox, uh, which would have been end of 2007, the Christmas after Call of Duty 4 came out, and I got Call of, Call of Duty 4 uh, at that Christmas with my Xbox. And at that time, really, there was... Um, before that, I mean... I was just really into the PS2, you know, playing not the best games on the PS2. Before the PS2, I had a PS1 where I played, you know, Tomb Raider, Spyro, when I was young, all those kind of games, because of course I was a bit more of a little kid then. And the earliest console I remember is the um, Sega, it's a Mega Drive in the Europe, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Genesis in the United States, so the Genesis for you US guys, and for you guys from the UK, it was called the Mega Drive. Same system, I believe. And all I remember playing on that is The Lion King and Sonic, because I think my older sister actually had that, just as more of a casual console. And I remember playing Sonic with her, and like I said, The Lion King, which I found quite hard at the time, because I was only a little boy. And then, of course, that's what I remember of that. I don't still have that console, I wish I did. I could bring back some memories, because that's really my first gaming memories are on that. And then, of course, I actually got my own PS1 and played casual games on that. Same with the PS2. And then, really, I, we also have a Wii. Because I have a little sister as well, she plays that and I sometimes play that with her. It can be interesting the Wii, but with Kinect coming out, it could die off, depends how good Kinect is. But like I was saying, I had the Wii as well, but I had the PS2 first. Then I got the Wii, I think around the same time as I got the Xbox. And then from then it's been sort of history. Got the Xbox, got Call of Duty 4, Halo 3 also, but I'm not a big Halo fan. I also picked up Call of Duty World at War when that came out, and of course Modern Warfare 2 when that came out. Picked up other games, you know, I like Red Dead Redemption, completed that. GTA 4 also liked, wasn't as great as a, like San Andreas, a big title I played on the PS2. So games like that I do enjoy as well, but I'm more of a first person shooter man. And there's the end of the game, and of course I'm going to get Black Ops when that comes out, pre-order in. So the final score was 38 for 6 I believe. Come and check out my channel, youtube.com slash the FPS Jerry. Thanks for watching guys at LGU and I'll see you later.